Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a quick and easy makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. If you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so we already prepped our eyes. I just used some Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in the shade Light. Next we're gonna go on to shadow. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and picking up Tempura on my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush and just running that all over the entire eye area to set our base. Then I'm dipping into Burnt Orange on that same brush and I'm gonna buff that into the outer V and throughout the crease. This is going to be our transition shade for this look. Next we're dipping into Raw Sienna on my MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to buff that directly into the crease, just really packing it on into the crease but then also blending out those edges so we get a nice gradient from the crease to the upper crease and yeah we're just going to use that as a defining shade. I'm then just going to dip back into Tempura, I'm using a Sonia Kashuk 103 brush to apply that shade to the brow bones to highlight. Then we are going to be dipping into the ColourPop Cosmetics Super Shock Shadow in the shade Amaze. Oh my gosh, I swear that was a tongue twister. <laughs> I'm just going to be using my fingers to apply this to the lid and then blend out those edges so we don't get any harsh edges. I just, harsh edges, harsh edges. I just feel like it applies a lot better when I use my fingers as opposed to using a brush. Then we're dipping into Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm going to be dragging this along the lower lash line. I'm using a Real Techniques shading brush to apply this. And then we are also picking up Cypress Umber. I'm going to be applying that tightly against the outer third of my lower lash line just to define it. Next we're going into the Laura Geller Swirl Illuminator Palette. Hello. <laughs> I'm taking Gilded Honey which you guys know is my fave but I'm using this for my inner corner highlight. I think it's really pretty and I think it flows really nicely with this look because it's a golden toned highlight. There's a reason I don't wear headbands. <laughs> And then I'm taking the Maybelline Master Precise Curvy Liner. It's a pen liner, and we're just gonna go ahead and start to create a wing. I've been really loving this liner lately. Um, it's very black, and it dries very nicely. It doesn't smudge or anything on me. I'll do a full review pretty soon on this. I've only been using it for like a week and a half, but so far, I really love it. So we're just gonna go ahead and create a wing with this. And then we're just gonna clean up those wings with our Angled Cream Contour F61 brush by Sigma. I really wanted to showcase this for you guys because it's been my favorite brush to clean up my wings with. It just fits perfectly underneath there. Definitely recommend this brush for getting your wings on fleek. Next for mascara, I'm going into the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I've been really loving this lately. It just makes my lower lashes look super duper long and in charge, and I love that. So we're just gonna be coating the upper and lower lashes. And then for falsies, we're using Coco Lashes and Goddess, but you knew that because I swear I use it in every video. I just love these lashes. They're definitely my faves. And then for the waterline, we're going in with two different eyeliner pencils. We're going in with the ColourPop Cosmetics Cream Gel Liner in the shade Swerve, which is a black pencil on the inner half of my waterline. And then the MAC Cosmetics Eye Cult in the shade Fascinating on the outer half to make my eyes look a little bit more almond shaped. Moving on to the face, we're just gonna be bronzing a little bit. I'm using the NARS Cosmetics Laguna Bronzer all over the perimeter of the face. We're just gonna do like a three-like shape on each side of the face and connect them together. And then to contour a little bit, I'm going in with the NYX Cheek Contour Duo Palette in the shade Double Date. This one has the cool contour shade. And we're just gonna go ahead and chisel out them cheekbones, contour the nose, and make sure everything is nice and slimmed. For blush, we're going into Becca's Flower Child and popping that onto the apples of the cheeks. It's a really gorgeous peachy tone shade with golden reflex in it. And then for highlight, we are going into Laura Geller's Gilded Honey and popping that onto the high points of the cheeks, on the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, chin, just to get our highlight on and poppin'. Now for the lips, we are using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in 714. And then for lipstick, we are using the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Rita. It's a really gorgeous red shade. And after we apply the lips, this is the final look. Alrighty then, that is going to be it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it super simple and easy to achieve. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new, hey girl, hey. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we don't lose each other. And yeah, I think that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. Love ya. Bye. <laughs>